The Berlin Volksbank robbery in 2013 stands out as one of the most audacious heists in recent German history, showcasing the robbers' meticulous planning and determination. This event unfolded in January 2013, when a group of thieves tunneled into a Berlin Volksbank branch, located in the Steglitz district, from an adjacent underground space. The robbers spent weeks, if not months, digging a tunnel approximately 45 meters, about 150 feet, long from a nearby rented garage to the bank's vault. The tunnel, which was professionally constructed and supported with wooden beams, was about 1 meter, 3 feet, wide and 1.5 meters, 5 feet, high, demonstrating a considerable degree of planning and labor investment. Upon reaching the bank's vault, the thieves breached it and accessed numerous safety deposit boxes. They managed to steal valuables estimated to be worth around 10 million euros, which included cash, jewelry, and other precious items. What added to the heist's notoriety was not just the tunneling feat but also how the thieves covered their tracks, they set fire to the tunnel upon exiting, presumably to destroy any forensic evidence that could lead back to them. The robbery was discovered on a Monday morning, and the police found the smoldering remains of the tunnel, which was rapidly filling with water from the bank's firefighting system. The meticulous nature of the heist, the lack of immediate clues, and the destruction of potential evidence left the authorities with a challenging investigation. Despite the robbers' efforts to erase their tracks, the police managed to arrest several suspects in the months following the heist. These arrests were largely attributed to DNA evidence found at the scene and surveillance footage from the area surrounding the rented garage. In subsequent trials, some of the accused were convicted and sentenced to prison. The Berlin Volksbank robbery is often compared to a Hollywood movie due to its dramatic and elaborate nature.